the first step when you're making the tree is to delete the default cube and make sure that you have the sapling tree gen add-on installed. So go into edit, preferences, um, and then under add-ons tap in sapling tree gen and just make sure you have that checked. So the next step is click shift A and add a curve sapling tree gen and then click on this drop down menu. Uh, and then go under load preset and for the pine tree we're going to want to do the preset small pine. Uh, once we have that uh, we kind of want to move the branch distribution so like it has more towards the middle because by default it's pretty tall so just kind of move that to like 0.8. Once you have that go into the branch splitting and we're gonna want to add some more levels so I usually up it to like four but uh, you can honestly do three there's not much of a difference in fact three might be better for a uh, better performance so I'm gonna stick it on three and then um, once you're done with that go down to the branches here this controls how many branches are in each level so I'm gonna start messing with it All right, and once you have a good amount of branches click off of it and move the object and then go into object um, object convert to mesh from curve so now that we have the mesh we are going to want to make the pine needles so we're going to do that by placing the cursor over here adding a cube scaling it down and elongating it so I'm going to do that by going into uh, edit mode and dragging the cube out there. I'm going to give it a little bit of a curve just because um, that's kind of how pine needles are. So once you have that, this is going to be sort of the the middle of the pine cone. So we're going to go to the modifier tab, quickly do a subdivision surface, give it uh, two, and then we're going to apply it real quick. And once you've made that, uh, click Shift D, duplicate it, and go to the Add Modifier tab and give it a decimate. We're just going to want to get down to like 0 0.06, just because we don't want all the geometry, but uh, we still want the overall shape. And this is going to be the actual individual needle, so I'm going to scale it down a bit. Okay, so once we have that. Um, we're actually going to want to start making the materials. So go into shading, um, click on the bigger pine needle, or the middle of the pine needle that we made, and click new, add new material. And the first node we're going to add is the mix RGB node. Uh, plug the color into the base color, and then with these two color values, set them to light brown. This is going to be the color of the branches. And so make one just a bit darker and have one lighter one. Okay, and once you have that, add a color ramp and plug the color into the factor and bring the black to about halfway and the white to about one fourth from the side. And switch the interpolation to linear. And now add a noise texture and plug the factor into the factor. And we're going to move the scale down to like 2. And the roughness to about 0 0.6. And turn the detail up to like 12. Okay, and now we're going to want to add a texture coordinate node and plug the generated into the vector. Okay, now we're going to want to add another noise texture and bring this, keep the scale up 5, but bring the detail up to 6. And instead of plugging the generator into there, plug the UV into the noise. And now plug the color into the displacement. And now we have our branch texture. And now we're going to want to add a texture for our leaf. So actually, uh, go back to the branch texture, copy it by selecting everything and clicking Control C and I click on this and I click new, delete it, 
delete the previous nodes and click uh, Control V. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to disconnect the displacement. We don't want displacement. And we're just going to change the color of this to green and then a bit of a lighter green. Now that we have that, we're going to want to add a mapping node, plug the UV into the vector, and the vector into a gradient texture. Now we're going to want to add another mix RGB. We're going to want to make this a pretty light green. So I'm just going to give it sort of a faded light green. Okay. And now, uh, what that did is, because what we're going to try and do is make like one side of it lighter than the other side. So I'm going to do that by messing with the location. Uh, I'll mess with the X till it's just the bottom that's a bit covered. I like how that looks. So I'm going to stick with that. Actually, I might lower it a bit more. Okay, I like that. So now what we're going to do is go to the branch, go back to mod layout, uh, and select weight paint. Uh, we're going to weight paint the height of the pine needle. So uh, what I'm going to do is start out with a strength of like 0.2 and just paint it all. And then I'm just going to go to one end and start painting it more than the other. Just so there's more of a gradient. And once you have the gradient finished, we're going to want to go to the particle tab and add a hair particle system. And after that, go to the render tab and do render as object. And we're going to want to select the pine needle that we made. We're also going to want to scale it up a bit. Um, and then go to the vertex groups uh, length and select the group that we made. And you can see it's kind of a a little bit of a slope down towards the beginning of it. I'm also going to raise it a bit and make the scale randomness a bit more. Now that we have that, uh, we're just going to mess with the source. So go into emission source, uh, uncheck even distribution, and bring up the particles per face to an insanely high number just because. And also select uh, global rotation on the render tab or object rotation on the render tab and rotate it to kind of make some fake face more backwards and make them face out and now let's go into the render tab and see how it's looking I think it's looking pretty good but I think we're gonna need to lower the amount of needles that we have and um, raise the scale now that we have that we're gonna want to go into the modifier tab and under the particle settings click convert and that'll convert it into a mesh. So now that it's converted into a mesh, uh, click on the center um, pine needle shaft and then click uh, on the particle settings and delete the particle system. And now that we still have the center click uh, selected, uh, click B and highlight all of the needles that are on the pine thing. Okay, now that we have that selected, click Control J to join them. Control J to join them and uh, click on the tree and give it a particle system. But now we're going to want to go into the weight paint and actually paint where we want the needles to be on the tree. Typically on pine trees you just paint on the branches. Uh, just make sure not to paint the center trunk and you should be good. You might have to rotate the tree around to get every single angle. And once you have it all painted, uh, go down to the density in the vertex group and select group. And now we can add the pine needles. So go into render, render as and click object and select the pine needle. Once you add it to the particle system, I would recommend changing the number of instances down to like 50 just so you can get an idea what it looks like but still have frame rate and you're gonna want to check mark object rotation and go to the object and rotate it until most of the branches are facing outwards and I'm gonna set it to cycles now so we can have a better render and I'm gonna add uh, the same material that we made for the branch onto the tree I'm also gonna give the tree some smooth shading now you are ready to render it out so I'm going to Click on the tree again, uh, 
I'm going to go to the particle system, and I'm going to hide the particle system, but I'm going to bring the number of pines up to like 1500. I'm going to set up my camera, and I'm going to render it. 